Hi, welcome to the Elite Automation YouTube channel. My name's Emma, and today we got here is Daddy. Malachi Greb, CEO and owner of Elite Automation. So today, guys, we're gonna go ahead and show you another program structure. So let's go ahead and jump into RoboGuide and get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna go over to line, go to line six, okay? okay. Line Use your arrows. Six. Okay. Oh, wow, wow. Yep. Line six. And go over to the right. We're gonna change these call programs. Actually, before we get too far, uh, what we have here is a select program. If you would, just go back and watch the previous video to understand how this structure works. But uh, we're gonna modify this structure to show you an example of the next structure. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and go to what? Uh, to over to call pick, uh, call pick. I don't see no call pick. Right here with your arrows. Use your arrows, because it's gonna be easier to do your arrows in this one, okay? Now? Nope, over to the right. Call pick right there. You yep. should have said that before. Okay, now actually we need to... Oh, That's shoot. just pick. Go to, to click the choice button. Right here. Choice! Oh, there we go. Boom. That's okay, so we want to do a jump label. Jump label. Yep. And then we're going to call this one label 51. It's a 5-1. What? Just put a 5-1, 51. Enter. Okay, we're gonna do a same thing with this next one over here. Go over to the right, and we're gonna change this call to a jump label as well. Over, gotta go over more. D. How much choice? Turn? How much? Turn? Hit the choice button. Okay. Boom. Choice. Escape. Hit the escape button on your keyboard here. Escape. And you probably hit your previous key as well. So now we know to change this to a jump label. Enter. Yep. And then we're gonna make this 52. Enter. Okay, go over to your next one. Go over to the right. And we're gonna change this call to a jump label as well. Choice. Choice. Okay, hit, hit, uh, hit the previous key down there. Key. Yep, right there, down, nope, that's program. Previous, over to the right, right there. Previous, okay, boom, so that worked. So I just wanted to do that just in case you have the teach pendant, uh, you can more easy, you knew how to do that function. Uh, so go ahead and do jump label. Jump label. Right there, yep. I'll call this one 53. 53. Enter. Okay, enter. Boom, okay. Now let's go to line 10. Line 10. Let's do a, hit the next key over here. We gotta do next key because we wanna do get our commands back. That works too, actually, either one. Okay, add a command. Add a command. One, insert a line. One, insert a line. One, nope, insert, yep. Uh, let's go ahead and do 10, 10 lines. Okay, enter. Enter. So now what we're gonna do here is we're going to in, add an instruction. Instruction. Jump label. And we're gonna do a label. Two label. Yep. Uh, Fifty one. Fifty one. Enter. Okay. Go down to line. 14. There's no 14. Right there. Okay, hey, instruction. You never said that. Label. Label. 52. Oh, 52. Okay, enter. Okay, now we're gonna go down like two more lines, three more lines. There you go, right there. Up, down, up one. Instruction. Okay. 
Label. Number five. Label. What'd you say? Number five. Yep. Label. You can just say the number you want. Two. Okay. Fifty-three. Enter. Uh, so one thing I want to point out real quick is that we're creating uh, some of the structure here that we have spaces in between here and that's because I already know what we're gonna do uh, so I'm able to create these spaces without um, because I can see what the structure is gonna look like before we actually get there and I should have actually put one more line for visibility sake uh, you'll see it here in a second I might even add it so notice that you got a jump label one here or jump to label 51, which will be here, jump to label 52, which will be here, and jump to label 53, which is the one that's down below. Uh, I explained this in the last video as well, but this register, uh, register 10, is set to a number, right? Uh, as of right now, we're not setting it to any particular number, we're just setting it to a random number uh, in the data area. So if you go data, register 10, we can change this value to whatever. I'll go ahead and put it back to a zero for now. Uh, go back to our main program, main one. So if that value is a zero, then it won't do any of these. It'll get to this else statement and then it'll jump back up to label 10. Um, for this particular example, this would be like the PLC is passing a value to the robot in uh, uh, through a group input to register uh, 10, right? And we'll, we'll have that in another uh, example of some code and in some more of our videos. So hit that subscribe button. Um, and it's gonna pass that value uh, based on what program it's gonna run. So let's add a little bit more of this structure here. So we'll go next, instruction. We're gonna do a call program, call program, and then pick, okay? Boom. Now, here's where we could have added, should have added a, uh, another line of code. Instruction. Inst instruction. Then we're gonna go jump label, jump label, 99. Okay? That's a big number. Yep. Edit command, one, insert line. I kinda messed this up. This is for visibility. Uh, I don't need this line right here I just added, but I like that line. I'm gonna add it here as well. Edit command, one, one, insert one line. And then we're gonna go down here to the bottom and we're gonna create a instruction label 99. This is why I let Emma sit in on these videos. One, so we can get some quality time together. Two, uh, because sometimes I move so fast I don't even read what I'm doing and it's not very good for uh, training sake. So we're gonna go over here to label 52 now and we're gonna go instruction uh, call program, call program, uh, da, 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 da. what is this one? Place palette. We're gonna do place palette, and we're gonna do an instruction, jump label. I'm gonna let you do this last one, okay, Emma? Okay. Okay. Jump to label, not this one yet, here. Okay. Jump to label 99. Okay. Hold on, Emma. Okay, now you can do this last one right here. So you're gonna do an instruction. Instruction. Okay. Call. Call program. Uh, da, 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 da. This is going to be at the very bottom of the test program. Underscore yeah. test. Program. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Enter. Boom. Okay. And we go to line 21. Uh, instruction. Jump to label 99. Go to five. Yep. Label. Or no, jump to label, sorry. 99. 99. Okay. Now go, we're gonna go down. No, we're not gonna go anywhere. Go edit command. Yep. One, and then one again. Hit the number one, just hit the number. Yep, and then one again and then enter. Boom, so we add a line there. Um, now just go ahead and call this out. This jump label does not need to be here because, you all, because you're automatically gonna go to this label after you run this code. Now, I always put these in here because I like the code to be 100% uniform 
Uh, so any code that can be uniform, I make it uniform. So these have a jump label. They have they have a label, a call, a jump label, right? So I want all these to be the same. And then secondly, if you go to expand and add code and we add a label 53 and, and, and we forget to add this jump label to this, the code will have a bug in it now that was not uh, originally there. So that's another reason for going about uh, having symmetry in code. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're just gonna go ahead and run an example of this code running. So uh, Emlyn, I'm gonna let you go ahead and run this code. So I- Hit your shift key. Shift key. Or let's actually go up a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna skip past home just cause there's nothing in that program. But every program that you run, you'll do a call home or call init and that init program is going to uh, run an initial set of code that's gonna set everything back to a good running state. Uh, there's nothing in our code right now because this is all for example's sake. Let's go ahead and uh, run the code that we have. So hit the shift button. Yep. Uh, forward, but I believe we're gonna have to do a function one aboard all, but nope, forward down here, remember? There we go, yes. It says, are you sure you want to run at this point? Yeah. Hit the enter key. Ah. Okay. Forward. Ooh. Okay, it didn't run. Hit forward again. You're in step mode, so you got to forward through one click at a time. Okay. Forward, 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 and boom. We hit that else statement, right? And it jumped back up to label 10. So if none of these were true, uh, jump to 10. Do this, else, do this other thing right here. So it jumps back up to label 10. So we're gonna go back into our registers, go data. And if you don't see a register here and you see a P, uh, a PR, it's because you need to change your type. Oh, let me let go of the shift key. Type, you have position register, string registers, carol bars, carol positions. Uh, so you might be on one of these other menu screens, so you just select register. We're using register 10 and we're gonna change this value to a one, okay? So let's go to, uh, da -da -da -da, back to our code, select main one. Okay, I'm gonna let you go ahead and run this code again. Go ahead and forward through. Forward through. Forward through. Yep. Boom. Forward, 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 forward. Boom, okay. So our register 10 is set to a one, right? So you've seen us jump from label, fit, jump to label 51. Um, so now we're down on label 51. Go ahead and forward through this as well. Your forward buttons. I know. Slow. Forward, forward, call pick. Now you're gonna see the robot move some. Boom, boom, Why does it keep moving boom. Sideways and back and forth? So we're performing a simple pick, just a generic pick to demonstrate for this code. Uh, and, and actually this is part of uh, another video where we was teaching points and showing how to teach points and whatnot. Uh, now we're going to keep forwarding and you're gonna see it jump to label 99, which jumps to the bottom of the program. Then we're gonna jump to label 10. Boom, take us back up to the top. Uh, one other thing that I wanna call out here. So uh, if you have any questions about this code, put it down in the comments below, but that's the general function of this code. I'll do one other thing here in a second. But I wanted to point out, notice how I used 51, 52, 53. Uh, so the way, the reason I do that is because I seg segregate code. Uh, if it's a 10, it's towards the top of the program. If it's a 90, it's towards the bottom of the program. Uh, and then if it's like a 99, generally it's at the bottom of the bottom of the program, right? So, or, or like say for instance, if it happened to be like a 59, that would be something that's always gonna be in the bottom of like a portion of code. So this would be a portion of code because these are all uh, in the 50s. So it's 51, 52, 53, which is telling you, uh, indicating to you that it's in the middle of the code. So these are things and programming practices that different companies will utilize to help signify certain things. So like all our members of our team will know if they see a 50, that it's somewhere in the middle of the code, right? Or if they see an 80, they know it's in the bottom 80% of the code. So let's go ahead and change this data to a three, enter. 
go back to select main one and we're going to forward through this code one more time uh, notice it's going to skip past the first jump label that it executed the first time so let's get past the second one and then the third one's going to go true and it's going to jump jump to label 53 because we set that data to it through. so boom here we are in 53 and at, here we are at label 53 uh, call test program. We're just going forward through it. It'll call it, jump back out, jump to label 99. Uh, here we are at label 99. We're going to forward, jump to label 10, back at the top. Hopefully this video was useful to you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. I got to jump out of here into a meeting and interview. Uh, so give us a huge thumbs up. All right, do that, please. Catch y'all the next one.